know, the, the rule of thumb is 15 minutes. Then all of the, your own pacing and your own connection to that place um, really deepens and starts to connect in. But also any organisms like birds or any um, creatures that are about will also get accustomed to you being there. So they'll actually start to, you know, chirp again and, and be present. And if you're, if you're quiet and you're at peace, uh, energetically, you know, everything sort of starts to go back to its normal flow. And that's what you want to be observing. That's what you want to pay attention to, is what are the, um, what are all the organisms in this place and what are they doing? And how are they adapted to this place? The beauty of plants is that every single plant that we see, whether it's a blade of grass or, or a beautiful full tree, a shrub, um, you know, whatever it may be, they're all adapted very specifically to context. So they are rooted in this place. And so they have to deal with whatever nature is throwing at them, whatever those, those conditions are, the temperature regime, the, the water regime, uh, wind, um, access to solar, um, all of those conditions factor into how well that specific um, plant or that specific uh, organism is adapted to place. And so by sitting down and observing and paying attention to that, you start to notice those specific adaptations. And as a designer, for me, that's like uh, massive inspiration for thinking about a building, because buildings themselves are also very much in place. And if we do our buildings right, they're adapted to all those same conditions. They're adapted to um, the water regime. They're adapted uh, to um, access to solar. Um, they're adapted to the slope conditions. Um, all the things that factor into how a plant might adapt to place in my mind is, is absolutely relevant to how a building is adapted to place. So sitting in a, a garden like this is, is just a wealth of information. How does a tree, 100, 200, or even, you know, I've seen a 2,500 year old tree, how has it been there for 2,500 years in that same place? What is it doing? How is it adapted? What are the lessons that it can share with me? tell me that might inform my ability to design a building 